What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Movie Madness Marathon, guys. This is episode 22 of 29. We're not gonna waste any more time. We're gonna hop straight into it. Let's go. Yeah, in 2023, I identified as a rapper. Cause the chatter is not a factor. Who coming after? I plan to be the last one standing total disaster. Cause everybody don't go up. It's like the rapture. See, you trying to be ahead of the game. You moving backwards. I told you that it's levels of this. Climb the ladder. I'm bringing niggas down to the atoms. It never matter. Play your music, then I'm you in this sound. Okay, guys. Welcome back to Movie Madness Marathon, guys. This is episode 22, and today is going to be another presidential pointer type of episode. Y'all know what I mean. So, as I told y'all, we made a company move to from Livingston to Virginia City. So, something important to remember on set and other thing is like because you're in a new location, distances. Because I was a cash driver, distances and all that, the time frame to go pick up my different cast members and actors and stuff like that was going to be different because we were in a different city and it was like everything was way further out than I thought it was going to be. So you have to map out your location. You have to adjust your schedule as such. That's important, guys. So once I dropped off Mandela, I once I got the addresses from my assistant director of who I would be getting, what time I would be getting them, and the rest of that stuff, and based off of where I currently was staying at, all that, I put in all of the addresses into my map to see where everybody was. So once I got a calculation about like, okay, it's going to take me about 45 minutes to get Mandela. It's going to take me about 20 minutes to go pick up Amber and the rest of that stuff. I adjusted my schedule as such. Now you have to factor in you getting up, you getting ready, and you getting the car ready and the rest of that stuff to go and get them. And because I had never driven to these some, some of the places before, because I, remember, I only dropped off Mandela. So I didn't know where everybody else was staying at. I just got the addresses and I was looking like, uh, okay. And thank God I did do that because Amber was staying on this mountain cabin thing. And y'all, um, driving up it was scary, okay? Because there was so many dips and potholes. And when it's dark, there's, like I told you, ain't no street lights. And you're in the mountain, so why would they put street lights on the mountain, okay? So I, I had to have the high beams on and drive super slow. It was so steep and it was the scariest thing I've ever driven up in my life. But I made it. OK, but I had to map that whole thing out, y'all, because it, it's important to always know ahead of time what you got going on. So I always scheduled. I always planned ahead. I, I got up extra, extra early. Like I usually get up early enough. Like, OK, I know I'm gonna get them in good timing. But I got up extra, extra early that time because I'm like, OK, I don't know where everybody's staying at. I don't know how far set it's going to be after I pick up all three people. So I need to have this mapped out already. So that's a very great set tip to know. Always, whenever I don't care if it's a company move, whatever like that, always make sure your schedule is adjusted and, and set to the perfect timing to the T of what you're supposed to be doing. Cash driving, set PA, it doesn't matter what you're doing. Make sure that schedule gets adjusted, y'all. It is crucial to surviving on a set, okay? Because my set, they were a little more lenient and stuff like that. They were really nice, which I was never late or anything, but they were really nice, really understanding, and other stuff like that. But a lot of other sets aren't like that. They will fire you on the spot, okay? Because they feel like, oh, interns can be replaced super easy because everybody wants to do this job. So you got to make sure you're doing everything you can and make sure you're standing out and you're doing what you got to do. I made sure, guys, that I picked up all my cast members in a way before and ahead of time. And I got them to set in the nick of time, y'all. It was perfect, okay? Because there's different areas where I would have to drop them off on set. Everybody didn't get dropped off at the same place at the same time. So it was like, okay, I would drop off Madison. And then I'd have to go back and pick up Swin or something like that. It doesn't matter. So... That's my pointer to you guys, and this video is going to be a little short because it's just it, it's just the basis of just making sure your schedule, make sure you're always prepared, making sure you're always on top of things, guys, because that is what helps you survive on a set. That is what makes things run smoothly and keeps the second assistant directors and everything off of you, okay? So now, if you're not following me on Instagram, if you aren't subscribed and you haven't hit that notification bell, I'm not quite certain what you're doing, but I need you to pull it together, okay? Because we're moving and we're grooving, okay? As always, Jesus loves you. He wants a relationship with you. If you are alive today, that is another opportunity for you to get it right. So don't miss out on Jesus because Jesus does not want to miss out on you. As always, my beautiful, wonderful, amazing executive board, keep it executive. Peace. Peace.